Dad again. Oh. Is it on? Are we good? Okay. Hey guys, it's Dad again. Um, I'm going to read a book from Extreme... Uh, read a book. I'm going to read a little something from this Scary Bugs book again for Eli here. Okay, and today we're going to talk about aphids. That's ugly, isn't it? That's a big bug. It's scary. Anyways, these bugs are so small you can't see them with your eyes. You need a microscope. Remember we talked about microscopes the last time? So you can make little teeny teeny tiny tiny teeny tiny things look really really big. Okay? Alright, I'm going to read up on this. Okay? We're actually going to do two today because this is such a small... Um, uh, excerpt. All right, aphids. What is that tiny green bug crawling on the leaves of your house plant? Probably an aphid, using their piercing, sucking mouth parts to nourish themselves on plant sap. Aphids are soft-bodied insects that usually live in the undersides of plant leaves. Because of excess sap removal by swarms of aphids, leaves can turn yellow or wilt. Aphids usually will not feed on healthy trees and shrubs. Aphids belong to the order Hemiptera, which includes insects that have sucking mouth parts, such as cycads, cycadas, and leafhoppers. Designed for sucking the sap from plants, the aphid's mouth has four long, sharp needles protected by a coating. These needles pierce through the outer surface of the stem of leaves and are used like straws. The aphids then drink up the nectar from the inside of the plant like a vampire drinking blood from its victim's neck. Ooh. Let's see if we can see those suckers. Look at that. These are like straws. They're suckers and they pierce. They're like needles. And they poke the plant and then they drink and suck the nectar out of the plant like a vampire. See, come over here. Look at this. That is one ugly looking aphid. But they're everywhere. And all the plants, you just can't see them because they're so small. Look at that. Alright. The next bug, the next bug that we're going to talk about, is bees. I know you guys like bees, like the bee movie. Alright. See, that's an adult honeybee. See the big bee head? That's what they look like. That is magnified 1,350 times. So this is actually really, really small. But that's what they look like. And then here's the eye. A bee eye. It's got all kinds of hair on it. How would you like to have hair on your eyeballs? Can you believe that? Alright. Watch out! That fuzzy yellow and black blob in the middle of the flower just might be a bee. While you may think that bees are scary, they are also one of the most useful insects. Honeybees gather nectar from flowers. The bees' mouth parts are used like a spoon to scoop up the nectar. Bees carry nectar back to the hive and their stomachs. When they get to the hive, they spit it back up. Ew. Other bees working in the hive process the regurgitated nectar. Regurgitated meaning puke. Bleh. That's regurgitation. Uh, let's see, where was I? I'm sorry. Other bees working in the hive process a regurgitated nectar and seal it in beeswax, con beeswax containers. Only bees make honey. There's no other animal on God's green earth that makes honey except for bees. Busy bees... <laughs> busy... Be <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> bees see in color, especially yellow, and they also see ultraviolet light. In fact, some flowers have bee guides, which are ultraviolet markings that direct the bees to the pollen and the nectar in the flower. Honeybees are the only bees with hairy eyes. In bright sunlight, the hairs cut down on the glare. Maybe we should put that on the car windshield, and then that way we wouldn't have glare. Or we could put hair on our glasses, and then we wouldn't have glare during the daytime. Be kind of cool. While bees collect the nectar from flowers, they also transform pollen from one plant to another. 
The vibration from their buzzing loosens the pollen, which falls onto their fuzzy bodies. They collect the pollen from their body hairs and soar them in po pollen baskets. They store them in pollen baskets. Ooh, so it's a, this is a bee pollen basket. That's where they put the pollen. That's magnified 425 times. That's a lot of magnification. Bee wing hooks. Look at this. Bee wing hooks. This is what the hooks look like. And they're on the wings. Bees have two pairs of wings that are hooked together in the middle so that they act like a single pair. They beat these larger attached wings about 200 times a second when flying. Bees can't fly if their body temperature goes too low. Bees are cold-blooded, so when the temperature outside goes down, their blood gets colder. To keep warm, bees utilize a form of shivering that involves vibrating the muscles it uses for flying, but without any wing movement. Did you know honeybees are communal insects? They have a very highly developed social order. Some bees are workers, some are drones, and others, and there is usually one queen in each hive. The queen bee can be identified easily as she is bigger than the other bees. She is fed a special food called royal jelly. Small glands in the mouth of the queen give off chemical called queen bee substance, which attracts the other bees to the queen if the bees swarm and move to a new location. Beekeepers now use this substance to attract bees to orchards, or to trap swarming bees. See this? That's the queen bee. She's a little bigger. She's a little bigger than normal. She's got a longer body. That's the queen bee. And all the bees follow her. Alright. Alright, Eli. So, that's all we have for today. I'll read some more mañana. I love you guys very, very much. And I know it's time for bed. So give Mama a big giant hug for me and give her kisses. Give her a bunch of kisses, like a hundred, like a hundred times ten, okay? And then go get Sissy and give her like fifty hugs, and tackle her and give her some tickles for me, okay? And say, Daddy said to tickle you and tickle her, okay? I really love you guys a lot. I miss you. I miss you, Mama, and I miss you, Sissy, very much. Thank you for all your help because I know you're making an you're making an investment in your future. These little boys are going to love the heck out of you when you're older. Anyways, I got to go. Well, I don't have to go, but the clock is ticking. Anyways, I love you. We'll talk to you guys later.